Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy DT3, man, and I'm back at you with another video, man. New media notification game. God Squad, what it is, man? Who you got? Deontay the Browns Bomber Wilder, the Alabama Slammer? Or Luis King Kong Ortiz or Old Tees? Who you got? Who I got? I'm going with the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. That's who I'm going with. I got him knocking out Luis Ortiz two rounds. I don't see it going three rounds or more. I got Deontay Wilder knocking out Luis Ortiz in two rounds. Reason being, Wilder is put on a lot of he's put on a decent amount of weight. He's had time to get accustomed to the weight, just how Anthony Joshua's had time to get accustomed to his weight to prepare him to fight Andy Ruiz. And Wilder has put on good weight. He's not putting on bad weight. Pretty much what you can see, he got kind of like that OG weight because he's 34 years old. So, you know, you kind of put on more weight as you get older. So, you can see Wilder, he's put on a little more weight, but he's not putting on no bad weight. And he doesn't look no different than he's looked when he's not had the weight on him. So, I think with that, with him having a heavier frame, him still not showing that he has lost any speed or none of that because the power is always going to be there. And now you got more weight behind the power with the speed. I mean, basically, you coming with a heavier hammer. So, the fact that he's coming with a heavier hammer, I don't see how uh, Luis Ortiz is going to stand up to Deontay Wilder past two rounds. I think uh, Luis Ortiz has is, 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 uh, basically passed his prime. He's fought the, the better fights that he could fight. And I don't think his chin is going to be able to stand up to that hammer that Deontay Wilder is going to hit him with. I just don't see it. I see Deontay Wilder shooting his, shooting his jab, doing his jab a lot more than what he's normally doing. He's going to show that he can jab more. And he's going to be jabbing the shit out of Ortiz because Ortiz is going to be at, um, he's going to be able to control the distance. And I think Wilder is going to control and maintain the distance with his jab. And he's going to do that early. Except his jab is going to be more of a thudding punch. It's not going to be a flickering jab. It's going to literally be a thudding punch. He's going to back Ortiz up with the jab, make Ortiz nervous. And then I think Wilder is going to faint the jab and catch him with the straight right. And every time he throws his right hand and connects against uh, Ortiz, he's going to stumble him or put him on his ass. Straight up. He's going to put him down early and often. Because the Alabama Slammer is coming with a bigger hammer. And it's coming with the same velocity, the same speed. Only difference is it's bigger. So the fact that he's got a bigger hammer, I don't see how Luis Ortiz is going to stand up to Wilder. Do I think Luis Ortiz may make a fight of it in some instance? Maybe at first. He might come in and try to go after Wilder. Maybe. But I don't see it going past two rounds. I don't see Luis Ortiz getting in no type of rhythm. I think Wilder is just going to basically take the fight from start from the start of the ring bell he's finna just take the fight period if you like the video like the video subscribe to the channel hit that bell icon should be notified every time i hit y'all with some hot shit follow me on instagram at dt underscore boom follow me on twitter at dboy wso man you already know who it is man it's your boy dt3 and again and again and again, I'm going to tell y'all like I will always tell y'all. I don't give a fuck if the LGBC say this shit or not. I am new media, bro. I'm the real new media. Fuck what anybody else got to say. I'm new media. The real new media. Notification gang. God squad. It's what it is, man. One.